courtroom outburst. The father of an alleged rape victim lashing out at the teacher accused of assaulting her. Right now, that teacher is jailed. He is accused of having sex with a female student at the school and other places. And new tonight, a parent says that she sounded the alarm about the teacher months ago. Let's get to News Center 5's Julie Lunchek. She's live in North Attleboro right now. Julie? Well, guys, long before this police report was ever filed, a mother tells us she reported her own concerns. She says she told school officials this teacher breached confidentiality and trust and was texting other students. I'm disgusted. And I feel awful. It's devastating to the family that it's affected. This North Attleboro mother doesn't want you to know who she is, but she wants you to hear her story. She also has a daughter in the middle school and also had a problem with a now accused rapist, Brian McBride, her daughter's guidance counselor. I had an incident with my daughter in the morning. I had to call the school. Mr. McBride called me back. He was actually he was very kind. I told him what happened. He gave me some advice. A week later, my daughter came to me and she said that a certain student knew about the conversation. My daughter said that he had been texting her for a while. This mother voiced her concern to school officials, who she says questioned her daughter's credibility and only asked McBride to change his number. I feel as if I should be able to go to school authorities and that my information about myself or my child is not going to be shared. He had done this because he was having current marital problems and he described what he called a seven-year itch. In court Tuesday, prosecutors say the 31-year-old admitted to having sex with a 14-year-old student and sending sexually explicit texts to another. Sexual encounters, investigators allege, happened outside the mall, inside the middle school, and at McBride's own home. Too much for the alleged victim's father to hear. Look at me, you piece of <laughs> Look at me. I wish that when I had reported it, it was taken a little bit more seriously. So the school superintendent in a statement today told us McBride had been terminated but could not be reached this evening about these new allegations. McBride is being held on thirty thousand dollars bail. Reporting live in North Attleboro, Julie Lonchek, WCVB News Center 5.